Hello everyone, I am Shiva Chandran and through this video I will be explaining about classifier model and classifier transformation which was introduced from Informatica 9.5.1 version onwards. The agenda for this video is listed and we would be going through the following overview of the classifier transformation and some of its use case, how the classification works, how to build the classification model and how to use the model in the classifier transform and classifier content which is the objects provided by Informatica as a part of core accelerator pack. They are also known as the out of box package. At a high level classification means diversifying something based on some benchmark and here we use the classifier transformation model to classify the data basically the input data. Classifier transformation is a passive transformation which is the number of input rows passed through the transformation need not be same as the number of rows returned from the transformation. A classifier transformation altogether is a combination of classifier model and the algorithm. And below are the few use cases where the classifier transformation can be used. How does the classification works? We need to create a base model and have to train the base model to classify the data. The algorithm classifies the data based on word frequencies in the text block and for evaluating the data the algorithm considers the entire text blocks and the user needs to teach how to classify the data that is to train the model. Basically the algorithms used in Informatica data quality are naive base and maximum entropy. This slide shows how to build the classifier model and finally how to train the model in the transform. It contains various phases. The first phase is prepare the data, and the next load to the classifier model and the third is to review and edit the data and fourth is to compile the data using the both algorithms the naive base and maximum entropy and once the compilation is done how to use the model in the transform. We would see each of the phases in detail during this demo. The first step in creating the model is to prepare the data and here I already have a physical data object which is imported into the model repository service for the data. The next step is load to the classifier model. To create a classifier model you need to create a content set once the content set is created select the content tab in the content set where you would see the classifier model right now there is no trained model below this content set so we need to add the data into the content set. Give next and since it's a base model I don't have the label so I have only the data so I am loading the data to the data column for the model. So when you click next there is an option to filter to all the rows or to the user defined number of rows. So since the data contain less rows, I am using all rows. Click on finish to load. Once the data is loaded into the model, you would see the trained column as not applicable. As it is a base model, the user needs to get train the data to work with the transforms. Click on edit. It would list all the data from the da physical data object. When you select the overview, the user could see a file name which is non-editable and this file would be created at the server side which contains the data classification and he could use any description he wants. The user has to create labels for these data. Use the plus button to add the labels. Example, 
I'm creating a label named Apple and one other name as Samsung. The user can also use this edit button to add the labels. The usage is zero since the data is not assigned to any labels. To assign the labels to the data, select the rows using the checkboxes and click on the label button to apply the label. If the user wants to change the label, he can select the record, click on the new label to assign a new label for the data. It is not mandatory that every record should have a label. So in this example, I have left the last three records as unlabeled. So once if you click on the edit option, you could see that label Apple is applied for three records, Samsung for one and Motorola for two records. Use the compile button to compile the model. So this is the next phase for compiling the model. Once the model is compiled, go to the content tabs. There now you would see the trained as S, which means the user has trained the model for classification. The user can use this button to switch between summary and the detailed view. The user can type in any words in the filter so that it filters the data below. The user can use this find option to search the text within the data field. Also they can select multiple records and change the label here. Once the compilation of the model is done, the user can use it in any mapping which uses the classifier transformation. So I have an already compiled classification for the languages. So the model is already trained and I'm using the model through a classifier transformation in this mapping. The user has to use the classifier transformation in the mapping to import the classifier model. Select the classifier transformation. Like any other data quality transformations, the classifier transformation has strategies and use the strategies to add the model which you have trained earlier. So by default, the score output is enabled which would can be disabled by the user if he doesn't wants to have the output score. Select the operation and I have two models which is already trained. So we can use the model which you want to add it to the strategies. We can use multiple operations in the same strategies. The output of the classifier transformation would basically be the label which we created for the record and the output score for that particular record. So in this mapping, I'm using an existing classifier which I have created earlier, which is the language classifier, which classifies the input data and diversify the outputs with two output files, one for English language and other for non-English. So the input record will basically have multiple languages data and this classifier transformation would classify the record and pass the English data to one output and the non-English data to the other output to a two different streams. And this is the input data for the mapping which contains multiple data with different languages including English, Spanish, Portuguese and other languages. 
so when we run the mapping it would diversify and it would write english data into one file and the data of other languages to a non english file we just run the mapping to see how the output looks like i have moved the output to a text editor and there are two outputs one is en dot out which list all english labels with a data followed by the score for that particular data and the other file is non english dot out which contains the other language classification which is spanish portugal and the other languages with its corresponding score for that record the objects provided by informatica's core accelerator pack contains this language classification model and the rules is listed in the slide for your reference and it is always advisable to use the maximum entropy for getting the accurate data output for more details on the classifier transformation and classifier model you can use informatica's help contents transformation guide classifier transformation so below this you have all the help document for the classifier model and the classifier transformation during this video we have learned the overview of the classifier transformation how the classification works how to build the classifier model how to train the classifier model and how to use the classifier model in the classifier transformation and we would like to hear from you and you can email us at support videos at informatica.com or you can follow the url for twitter https dot slash slash twitter dot com slash infosupport thank you